Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to show you how to kneel on the ball, or how to get to a kneeling position on the ball that's easy, and it's in a way that you won't be nervous about injuring yourself. And that's the most uh, important thing when we train is we want to be injury free. We're not training to get injured. We're training to prevent injury. So making sure that we don't fall off things or lift weights incorrectly or do positions that aren't with the correct, the, when you don't have the correct posture to get injured, we want to avoid all that, all that stuff. So I'm going to show you today how to get to kneeling on the ball. So anything we can do on an unstable surface, I feel is an epic way to train because especially if we're doing it for surfing because when we surf we're riding an unstable surface surfboard on water and where it's very multi-directional when we surf and we're doing it at a particular speed so it's hard to mirror that so doing it on a swiss ball which is very much so an unstable surface is a great way to train so i'm going to show you how to get or some steps in helping you get to kneeling on the ball so first one i'm going to use this uh logo here on the ball which allows me to understand where i am so this i want to center myself around this um, it's also really important the ball that you guys use i use this one here it's got these little uh sort of pimples all over it which really make for a good traction um, this one's a, an aok ball uh, I, I bought this i just find it a, a thick durable ball i travel with it all the time uh, i find it a really really good ball good product um, uh, Getting to the knees on the ball, I'll, I'll do a side, I'll do a front on here. So I want to place my hands on the ball first, like so, and then I'm just going to rest my knees against it. So from side on position, I want to be like this, and I'm I'm right in the middle. My hands and my knees are in the middle of the, the logo on the ball. So from here, I'm just going to kind of rock forward and backwards, and it's just to get an understanding of the landscape of when I'm balancing on the ball like so and I'm just rocking forwards to and fro and that kind of helps me understand what it feels like just to be on the ball especially if you haven't done it before this is a great way just beginner steps and getting an understanding of what it's like to bounce on the ball once we've done that a few times we start to feel really comfortable then we can just try and stay up there for a little longer so again hands in the front rest the knees and the shins, so I want my shins to be on the ball. That's a really important one. And I can always use the bottom of my feet too to grip around the ball. So from here when I rock forward, I come up and my hands drop down and my, and, my sh and my knees and my shins are kind of what's on the top of the ball. And I can sort of balance here and get a nice, consistent, I can, I can wobble the ball a little bit, I can make it a little bit challenging for myself, or I can just try and stay really stationary and just balance really nicely, making sure I breathe in and out as I balance on the ball, and then I can rock down. So again, stage one, to and fro. Stage two, rocking up and staying a little bit longer on the ball. Now. Our end goal, when we kneel on the ball, is to be in this position. So I want to be here and I want to have my arms out and I want to sort of be able to do a twisting motion movement like this. So from a side on position, I'm going to look like this. You notice my hips are forward. So my head is over the top of my shoulders, over the top of my waist, over the top of my knees. I'm really nice and straight. I should be able to have a straight line from the top of my head down to my knees. I want to try and avoid being in this position here, like a, or a rounded back position and I'm sort of kneeling. I want to make sure my hips are forward because then my glutes are activated. My glutes are a strong muscle and it's what's really helping me control my core is helping me control this balanced position on the ball. So, to help me get there, after I've done my one and two stage, from the second stage here, notice my hands are low. So here, just to get a bit of uh, familiarity, familiarity with being taking my hands off the ball, I'm just gonna take one off at the time, one hand, two hand. One hand, 
to here. And that's just helping me understand what it's like to not have that connection with my hands. Then from here, in this position, if you want to do another test, you can do by just sort of just taking your legs off the wall. One, replace. Two, replace. And switch sides. That just makes a little bit of a um, more challenging uh, position for you to be in before you come up onto kneeling. But after that, you're going to be good to go. So from here, I want to make sure I inhale and as I exhale, thrusting my hips forward. And from here, I'm just trying to maintain a nice, balanced, controlled position. Everything is switched on because I'm trying to stabilize my position over the top of this unstable surface. So if I'm doing side on to you, or front on to you, hands in front, knees on, rock up, get nice and controlled here, inhale, exhale, come to this position. From here, you've got a number of movements we'll get into later, but from here, you just wanna be able to stay in this position, making sure you're looking straight ahead, try not to look down, Eyes straight ahead and just sort of just do nice little twists from side to side and that if you can do that this is just a great warm-up right here because everything is activated everything is switched on to stabilize myself in this position so it's a really good warm-up to do before you get into training and great for a balance from a balance um, uh, great for balance this is an epic one all right guys Whew.